Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is, well, already September and I guess I started this channel six months ago, which may not seem as like such a big deal, but for me personally it was. I guess I could be a bit late to this trend because I think that for what I've seen, people usually do this video, like the first video on the channel and all that, because like it's the booktop newbie tag. And I'm doing it kind of six months in, but Better late than never. So, I have my notebook and I have all the questions here. So the first question is, why did you decide to start this channel? Well, I've been wanting to start a channel for too long ago. When I was a kid, I remember doing anime edits, kind of like uh, with the ships I like and all that. Then I also started a channel for speed painting because I do love painting, I studied arts in high school. Yeah, the point is, I always wanted to start a channel, but I was anxious and also I was zero consistent. I was unable to hold on to a schedule of uploading and all that, because I was mature, I guess, when I was younger, and now I'm still unable to hold to a schedule, if you haven't noticed. Uh, yes, it was a dream of mine. I decided to start it because it was a dream of mine. I've always wanted to start a channel and this year I just went for it. Okay, the next question is what are the most fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? And I would say the difference in my linguistic background. Most of the booktubers I watch are from the United States or from the United Kingdom and I feel like that's great, I mean, English is your first language, I understand that you're making videos in English and all that But the truth is that those people have a bit of a limited amount of books they can read I mean, I don't mean it in a bad way, but most of the people that I've known that have English as a first language do not study a second one And on the other hand, I had Basque as a first language so Basque is a very, very small language and you have to study more languages to get by in the world. My second language was Spanish. I already had two languages. I studied English since I was a kid. Then I also studied French and I'm right now studying Chinese. And these five languages give me the opportunity to insert myself in different cultures. So instead of just recommending books that are strictly English, books or trans books translated to English, I can recommend books by Spanish authors. I think that's something special I can bring to other people and that that is not something that a lot of people on booktube and booktok do. The next question is, what are you most excited about this new channel? And the truth is that I'm excited about meeting new people because yeah, I have friends that do love reading and friends that I talk to about books but at some point they like different things even though I can talk with them about some kind of books I can't talk with them about others I guess that with this channel I will be able to meet people that love the different kind of books that I like The next question I didn't know how to answer and that's because the next question is why do you love reading? I don't know why do I love reading, but yeah, actually, I, I really don't know why do I love reading. I just do. It's been part of my life since I was very young, and I cannot really put the reason why I loved it into words. So yeah, we will skip that one. And the next question is, what book or series got you into reading? And I have a couple here. So the thing is, when I was little, I hated reading, actually. But at some point, I started reading these books by Rachel Renee Russell that are in Spanish, El Diario Niki. I think that in English is Dork Sayari. And that's what got me into reading as a youngster when I was around 11 or 10 years old. But then you find yourself in that weird age where the books that are for kids are too immature for you, but the books that are from young adults or like YA, it's too mature for you. So in that period of time, I just went on reading Wattpad. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> but yeah, after that, uh, when I stopped reading Wattpad about three years ago, I started, the first series I read was the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. And 
then I started reading more and more books in Spanish. The first book series that got me into reading in English was the Off Campus series. I could show you all the books, but I'm going to... I'm, I'm not about to do that. <laughs> what questions would you ask to your favorite book talkers is the next question. And first of all, I would say that my favorite book talkers are Steph Boher, Destin Sidwell. Those two are my favorite book talkers. And the main question that I would ask them is, do you want to be my friend? Because I feel like for all I've heard from them and all of the videos I watch, they seem like very, very, very interesting people. The books they like, the hobbies they like, what they post resonates a lot with me and I would love to have friends like them. I mean, I, it's not that I don't have friends, I do have friends. <laughs> also, I would ask Steph Boher where she gets her clothes. So the next question is, what talents do I think it will be the hardest to overcome? When I thought about this question, literally like the first thing that popped to mind was my anxiety. I am very, very, very anxious. And yeah, that's an issue, I guess. I mean, it has been during my life an issue and all that, but um, I remember the first video we posted, I was literally shaking and I wasn't able to watch that video more than once before I posted it because if I watched it more than once, I wouldn't have posted that video and this channel would never have come to be. The hardest challenge, I guess, it will be my anxiety because the other things I can manage, but I am really, really anxious and that's that's kind of an issue. <laughs> the next question is, when did you start reading? So I guess I have already answered this, but when I was 10 years or so, I started reading. Then at 14, maybe 13, I started reading Wattpad. And then at 17, during the pandemic, was when I started reading physical books. Then at 18, I started reading in foreign languages, English. Then where do you read? Right now, I'm reading on my Kindle, I'm reading The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, so I read a lot of my Kindle right now because I bought it a couple of months ago. Then on my phone, I can show you my phone because I'm recording with it, but on my phone I am reading The Academy and the Introductions. Uh, it's a very old series, but I do read a lot on my phone because when I'm in the gym or when I'm whatever, um, reading on my phone is easier than reading on my Kindle because it feels more discreet. Like, I'm not going to take my Kindle to a gym so that everyone knows that I'm reading in the gym. Like, I'm not like you. No. No, I don't like want to look like I'm not like the other girls. I want to. I want people not to look at me like I'm we a weirdo. And then, this is maybe the media I read less on, but that's paperbacks. And, well, I don't read on hardbacks because I don't like them, but paperbacks, the issue is that uh, they are very impractical for me. And then... Obviously Wattpad, um, even though I don't read as much on Wattpad, I still have a couple of series that I follow. What kind of books do you like to read? And in this I uh, will say that mostly romance because I feel like it's easy to read and after reading like, after reading these things for school, kind of like reading romance is what like what I like about reading because it's something that doesn't require mental power so it is easier to read and that's how I relax I also like mystery but sometimes it may be difficult because then I can't read that's why I read mystery a lot less than I read romance because the point of reading for me is relaxing and the last question is what does my lookbook collection look like and I have myself here which I guess you have seen in videos like in the background or whatever. It's not really organized so I will not show you that but it looks like a shelf with fairy light. That's kind of it. <laughs> or like a hundred books on my on my phone or like another hundred books on my Kindle. Not a hundred yet. How many books do I have on my Kindle? Okay, like 21 books on my Kindle, or 100 books on my phone, or the self. That's, that's what my book collection looks like. And that shows that I really have a problem with impulsively getting the first book that appears on my TikTok. I guess that's what booktube may find interesting about me. Honestly, I don't have anything else to say. So I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that my friends will let me buy more books. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!